The Cheetah Conservation Fund works with farmers throughout Namibia to help them coexist with cheetahs. Throughout Africa, 90% of the cheetahs are found outside of protected areas. Because of that, we need to work very closely with the farming community. CCF even operates its own model farm, educating farmers on better ways to manage livestock and maintain livelihoods. We've got boar goats and fat-tailed sheep and now we have dairy goats as well. And it's a part of one of the strategies that we have to look at um, livelihood development. Many of the farmers don't have the skills of understanding um, how to keep their animals healthy around parasitology, around you know, even the, the hygiene of the animals. We are also trying to teach people that um, dairy goats or dairy products or dairy business can also work with small stock, which is not usually the, the, the common belief in Namibian farming. CCF also makes its own goat cheese and fudge, available for sale throughout Namibia to benefit cheetah conservation efforts. CCF teaches farmers how to make these products as well. Not only are we training farmers in good livestock management and how to care for their dogs to reduce any human wildlife conflict, but then also looking at other products that people can make. So how to make cheese and how to make fudge and use the um, potential great product out of a goat for a variety of different things that can actually help develop different livelihoods as well. One of CCF's most successful ways of alleviating conflict between farmers and cheetahs is a livestock guarding dog program. We started the livestock guarding dog program in 1994. To date we've had now over 370 dogs born and we've placed them with the farming community throughout all of Namibia. We've re seen reduction of livestock loss by 80 to 100 percent from most every farmer that has the dogs. For one livestock guarding dog, Beauty, it was time to go to a new home. We placed so many dogs and we worked with so many farmers and sometimes some dogs don't work with some farmers. With that then we will bring the dogs back and we'll find out the behavior of the dog and we will look at rehoming the dog. Before the journey to a new home, Beauty received a sedative to help keep her calm and relaxed in the car. They're definitely not used to vehicles, they're also not used to being indoors. Um, even our dogs here, um, when we have to bring them into the clinic, they don't like it, they get nervous. Um, they prefer to be outside and they, they really love being around their goats and sheep. Then the CCF team made the three hour journey to a farm outside Ocho. Here, Beauty would have plenty of land on which to roam as she carried out her guarding duties. It's a lovely farm, it's very well maintained. Um, they farm goat, sheep and cattle, um, all of which are very healthy. The CCF team could tell right away that Beauty was in good hands. They've previously had two livestock guarding dogs from us and looked after them very well, so we're very happy to give beauty to them as a part of her rehoming. She greeted Lucas and the other farm hands, tailor wagging and a big smile on her face, and she seemed to fit in very well, and they were very happy to meet her and very excited to have another dog. As beauty enjoys her new home, she'll also be one of many working dogs helping farmers and cheetahs coexist.